Okay, let us consider 57. Consider the planes P 1 y equals 0 and P 2 x plus z equals 1. Let P 3 be a plane different from P 1 and P 2 which passes through the intersection of P 1 and P 2. So, we can start this question using the concept of the family of planes that is P 1 plus lambda P 2 equals 0. Right? If the distance of the point 0 1 0 from P 3 is 1 unit and the distance of alpha beta gamma from P 3 is 2, then which of the following relations is are true. So, we can say the required plane as y plus lambda times x plus z minus 1 equals 0, correct. The distance of this plane from 0 1 0 that is 0 plus 1 plus 0 minus lambda upon root lambda square plus 1 plus lambda square is 1. Simplifying, we get 1 is cancelled out, lambda square is cancelled out. So, we are left with lambda is 0 or lambda is minus 2. But lambda cannot be 0 because it is given P 3 is different from P 1 and P 2. So, on substituting lambda equals minus 2, we will get the required plane. So, we get the required plane on substituting this lambda equals minus 2 in this equation as y minus 2 x minus 2 z plus 2 is equal to 0. It is given the distance of this plane from alpha beta gamma is 2 units that is 2 alpha minus beta plus 2 gamma minus 2 divided by 3 is equal to 2 units or 2 alpha minus beta plus 2 gamma is plus minus 6 plus 2. Taking plus sign we will get plus 8, taking minus sign we will get minus 4. So, correct options are B and D, right. Let us go for the next one. Okay, let us go for the next one. Let L be a straight line passing through the origin. Suppose that all the points on L are at a constant distance from two planes P 1 x plus 2 y minus z plus 1 equals 0 and P 2 2 x minus y plus z minus 1 equals 0. Let M be the locus of feet of the perpendiculars drawn from the points on L to the plane P 1. Which of the following? points lie on M. Four options are given. We have to check out first what is the locus of point M. So, the question says that L is a straight line passing through origin, correct? Suppose that all points on L are at a constant distance from two planes. Now, consider there are two planes and a line is such that all points on this line when we take these are at equal distance from two planes. So, clearly the line L will be on the angle bisector of these two planes. We can look at this in this manner, say this is 3D figure and uh, consider here the line in this manner, correct. So, these two planes are say for example, the planes can be taken like this. Now, this is the line of intersection of the two planes. When I am saying that there is a line L which is such that every point on it, it is equidistant from two planes. So, clearly this line will be parallel to the line of intersection of the two planes, correct? This line is passing through origin. Now, this is plane P 1. We can find foot of the perpendicular on P 1. When we find feet of perpendiculars from points on this line, we can see that will also form a line in P 1, correct. So, the simple one we can now after analysis can start solving it. First, let us find out direction ratios of the required line L, direction ratios. Since it is parallel to the line of intersection of the two planes, so clearly the direction ratios are same. When direction ratios are same, so we can say that i, j, k, 
the direction ratios of normals to the planes are 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 1 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 1. So, this gives us i times 2 minus 1 j 1 plus 2 k minus 1 minus 4. So, we can see that the direction ratios are 1 minus 3 minus 5. We can also find foot of perpendicular from 0 0 0 to P 1 right. We can obtain foot of perpendicular from 0 0 0 to P 1. P 1 means x plus 2 y minus z plus 1. So, this will give me x upon 1 equals y upon 2 equals z upon minus 1 equals minus of 1 upon 1 plus 4 plus 1. So, in this manner we observe that foot of the perpendicular is coming out as minus 1 by 6, minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 6. This is the foot of the perpendicular from 0 0 0 to plane P 1. Now, come back to the question part again. Let m be the locus of feet of perpendiculars drawn from the points on L to the plane P 1. So, clearly the equation of m comes as x minus 1 by 6 upon 1 y minus of minus will become plus y minus of minus 1 by 3 that is y plus 1 by 3 upon minus 3 and z minus 1 by 6 upon minus 5. Now, on substituting given 4 options in this equation of line, we can obtain the correct options from the given 4, we will find finally as A and B which are satisfying this equation right. Let us go for the next one.